Hashtag renters are the new Rockefellers. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that. I'm still renting. According to Ken Johnson of Florida Atlantic University's College of Business, on average, renting and reinvesting wins in terms of wealth creation regardless of property appreciation. Because property appreciation is highly correlated with games in the traditional financial asset classes of stocks and bonds. Meaning that if you took the money that you were going to spend extra on owning a home right now. Like putting it as down as a down payment? Not even doing that. It's just investing in the stock market. If you invested in the stock market right now and continue to rent... Because it would cost, I don't know what your rent is, but it would cost you a little bit more to buy a home. In this market, it's cheaper to, cheaper to rent. Yeah. It, right now, it's cheaper to rent. Much cheaper. Even if it's like $600, $700 a month, it's it's cheaper to rent. So if you are renting and you got a good rent uh, rate, take that money, that extra money, figure out what your house payment would be. Take that $600 to $700, put it in the stock market. In the end, you will be and continue to do so every time. If you, if don't you, don't buy consumer goods. If you have a good broker and they get you into the right stocks, otherwise you end up losing that money. Well, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. True. Or you have somebody else managing your money that doesn't. But know what they're he doing. says that that uh, influx in uh, the housing market is always correlates with an influx in the stock market. So when the stock is the stock market's doing well, it's usually because things like the housing market are doing well. There's never been a time where the housing market's in the tank, but the stock market's you know gangbusters. I got gotcha. you. They both go they go both go side by side. So if you're renting, so in the long term, you're saying you're going to make more money off the stock market than off whatever you're yeah, investing into your house, or your property. If you're renting. You're not taking that money and investing it into the property. You're not paying things like mortgage insurance. You're not spending money on homeowners well, insurance. Well, the market's high right now. Property taxes. You right. know, that money doesn't have to go to the property. Things like air conditioners can't break when you're renting because the landlord pays for it. If you take and figure out what that money is on an annual basis, take that money, invest it in the stock market. You can rent from now until the time you die and you will be better off than a homeowner will be because the homeowners are going to get drugged down by things like if property you're investing, taxes. Though. By pro- if, if you're not investing and you're just blowing that extra income. If you're buying barbecues and boats and things, Going on vacations. Going on vacations. Yeah, see? Then, then you're not. But, but if you take that money and you invest it, then you don't have to worry about the risk of, you know, of so wait, if you're renting and you buy a barbecue, you're you're that's a that's a mistake. Yeah, don't buy a barbecue. Barbecues are bad. Well, you can buy one barbecue, but don't buy five barbecues. Oh wait, are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> if renter could sock away all the money they would have spent in the home buying process, and a broken air conditioner or two, and invest that money instead, the renter will always come out on top every time, according like to these. To these uh, financial experts. Uh, they, the article for this over at KZLZ.com. You can check it out. Good news for you renters out there. Go in the Central Coast Social Network. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.